I'm Eric Engler. I'm the owner of Velocity Motorcycles, and we're restoring the R69S BMW, and that's all you told me to say. First I break it, then I fix it. There's just not enough time for all this stuff. There we go. Everybody's having a breakdown. Hey boys, button it up. It's been three months since we first started to try to transform this 1969 Rusty back into the R69S it was meant to be. And we're not even close to being finished. Dave has done most of the teardown, but he still has the final frame demo to finish. If the pressure of having this done in six weeks hasn't caused him to lose his mind yet. What was I doing? Oh, what was I doing? Don't give up on us now, Dave. You're almost there. There we go. An original R69S Emil that is in uh, pretty nice shape. Off with the head. Not my first rodeo as far as pulling one of these apart. One really ugly set of handlebars coming off the bike. Just a few more turns of Dave's wrench and the assembly of the bike frame will be complete. Ah. I have killed it. It is dead. That's it. Not quite. Not quite indeed. Now, I know we haven't stopped talking about the pesky sidecar since we started this project, but finally it's time to remove the lugs from the bare frame that held the sidecar in place. Seriously, that's the last time we'll mention it. All right, where to start? This battered, dingy frame will be rough, but not for long. Any imperfections left over from grinding the lugs off will be smoothed out when the frame is welded. After that, Dave has something a little more unique than painting in mind for the frame. Powder coating. It wouldn't be you unless you forgot to bring something all right. Ah, 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 no sneak peek for you. We still have more work to do. Today I'm just gonna pull the things apart, kind of assess what we have as far as condition. Uh, so I'll know what parts to order. I'm always a monkey in the crowd. All right, I'm gonna need the bigger guns. Who has stolen my torch? That's something over here is catching us up. Nothing holding this thing. Looks like it's going to take an extra set of hands to pull this transmission apart. All right, I just need you to just physically hold this thing down. It is a little warm. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I'm hoping it will. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You have to admit, it is rather fitting that the last step is the final drive. I think she's starting to come. Perfect. All that intensive labor, and we haven't even gotten to the most difficult part yet. Dave now faces the most crucial step of any restoration process. Remember when Eric mentioned the two lists? Let's, let's make uh, two different lists. One, one list of, of the parts we're definitely going to need, and then a sub list of the things that we can probably fix. Those two lists are exactly what needs to be done next. As far as getting um, parts for the bike, uh, basically there's no one source for it. We're going to have to um, use all kinds of different places and um, all over the United States. You know, 
Uh, unfortunately, there's no one good place to go uh, to get everything. Uh, so it, it's, it's going to be a search. Right. One would think that taking the time to find every single part needed would be the most agonizing element of this phase. Eh, not so much. It's having the patience to wait for things to come in while the clock relentlessly ticks. But we've been having some issues as far as how uh, long it takes to get the stuff from Germany. I don't know whether they have to put it in a bunker for a couple weeks and before they can send it or what, but uh, it can be a couple months of uh, waiting for parts if we order them that way. So you just got to scour eBay pretty regularly. The list is complete and the parts have been ordered. We're halfway there. Dave is determined to put his waiting time to good use by playing Papa Bear to the rest of the guys in the shop. Hold the fairy. Please don't do that. I need that. <laughs> All right. Let's start to put the headlight in the bucket. A couple of weeks go by, and some long-awaited parts finally start to roll in. Frank's maintenance and engineering was kind enough to donate these fork tubes for us. They make really nice quality stuff. But with all of the components starting to come in at once, it can get hard to keep track of everything. Where's all my stuff? Where's it at? Why did this that silver? Why is that silver? Why is that silver? Hey, Mr. Matt. Remember some time ago I had you order uh, steering head bearings for the Walnix bike? Yeah. Can we find those? I can't seem to put my hands on. Okay, yeah, I'll take a look. Hey, I could use those. <laughs> hands off! Yeah. Yes, they're the same. Leave it alone. Not yours, mine! Even with most of the parts pending, the process of cleaning and reassembling the main driveline components is key to completing any restoration on time. Well, today we're going to reassemble the engine. Um, this may go easy, may not. Since we've seen the engine disassembled, one would assume it looks exactly the same, only in reverse. Well, it looks like Dave got lucky with the engine. But luck is a fickle friend that often tends to run out. All right, now we're cooking with gas. Jesus, hallelujah. When you break it? You run into a big snag on the project uh, uh, while trying to seat the inner pinion bearing on uh, the final drive. Uh, I have split the, the casting. That's going to be fun to replace. Worse than that, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this brand new bearing out without... The one you just went and bought? I had to go to Tom's this morning and get it because Benchmarks is back ordered. And I knew I wasn't going to have anything to do today if I didn't have the bearing. Yeah. Which break? Go! Oh. Yeah. Good job, special. Just one of those damn frustrating things. It's always got to happen in any project, especially one that's got a deadline. It's time for lunch. <laughs> I've had all the fun I can have. You feel like so what will happen if Dave and Eric can't fix the final drive and have the bike ready on time. We need an exit strategy to South America if this project doesn't get done. If they do manage to pull a new final drive out of a hat, how quickly can they get the rolling chassis ready for its red carpet appearance? There's just not enough time for all this stuff. All of these answers, including who's really running this dog and pony show? On the next, Restoration in Progress.